Hi, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I like to play with mixed media art and work in all different kinds of journals. These are some of my current journals and today I'm going to work in my junk journal for junk journal July. So I hope you can journal along too. I'm going to work on the prompt that is uh, dying and I'm going to do coffee dying today. Now, I don't know if you've had this situation, but I prefer to coffee dye papers before I bind them in a journal. So because this is an already bound journal, I often use instant coffee, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna take some of those granulars, I guess you call them, <laughs> grains, I don't know, of instant coffee, and I really like to uh, scrunch them up and grind them up to a powdery consistency. So they're very small and simply go in with a paintbrush. So I'm giving you a, hopefully a bit of a close up here. You can see what's happening. I, um, I do it sort of slowly, more of a painting technique. I'm actually using a pretty small paintbrush. It was the one at hand. I probably could have used a larger one but I think you get the idea. And then I like to smush the pages together and just let that sort of roll around on the page. Really simple, really easy. But again, because this is an already bound journal, I like to use the instant coffee. I think it's it works, it works pretty well. So I've given it some drying time and if you don't know about Junk Journal July, by the way, it is hosted by Meg at Meg Journals. You can get the prompts on Instagram. And she and a lot of others have some really fun videos. So just put in the hashtag Junk Journal July and all sorts of YouTube videos will come up. You'll get so many great ideas. I've been watching a bunch as well and I've just been having a whole lot of fun. In the rest of the session today, <clears throat> excuse me, for working on this journal, I'm having a good time using up my scraps. I love when that happens. I don't know about you, but do you have like little boxes or bins? I tend to have a bin right by my art table and all of these came from that bin. I did the stapling method. I know a lot of other journalers do that too. I have the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and just a regular old stapler. And these are some I've already made. Many are magazine bits, book pages, the bits and pieces that I've been enjoying using from the old cookbook I showed in earlier videos. You can kind of see the cow up on the top. I love that one. It also has tomatoes and we are growing tomatoes in our garden currently. It's so hot right now here. So that one I'm considering. I like these a lot, but they're a little darker with that teal and those purples, so I'm not sure about that. Just playing around. So how is your journaling going? Are you doing Junk Journal July? I find I'm really inspired by the prompts. Some days I go in with an idea and like today I didn't have too much of a clue other than the fact that I knew I had scraps I wanted to use. <laughs> I also have some quotes from I believe these came from the graphics fairy. They have a paid and a free site so I kind of like that. Maybe this one. And the last thing I'm thinking about is these playing cards, or I think they're actually called flashcards. These came in, a, they're a Tim Holtz pack. So I have those on the left. <laughs> I'm still debating on the collage cluster. Yeah, so these are so cute. They're double-sided. So vintage, grow, inspire, junk, brave. 
gather, explore. And they're absolutely, this is a really large font probably for this <laughs> small journal, but it's speaking to me. So I'm thinking of gather. And I'm not sure if I want to make it a pocket or a side tuck. But I think any of those could work. Vintage is kind of cute too. So I'm thinking about gather because it's summer and we've had some family and friends over and some cookouts and just hangout time. So I'm going to go with that gonna use some of this art glitter glue and decision made <laughs> yeah so I like the I, I work with a lot of colors in my journals you can see on that page but I really like this vintage look and the simple method of coffee dyeing using that instant coffee I think is a quick shortcut so I like that but you are gonna have to enjoy the smell of coffee <laughs> that's probably a very obvious thing to say but it does I mean that that coffee scent stays in your journal for sure okay I think that's gonna look good gather. I'm going to give it a couple couple staples with the tiny attacher and use that as a side pocket. Yeah, I think at this point I'm going to maybe make a card or something for the gather tuck spot. And I'm gonna call that done for the moment. <laughs> so last time, I believe this is the page I left off. So I'm just gonna take a moment and catch you up. I um, finished these pages off camera. So this one's balance. And um, no, actually it's not. It's symmetry on the left. And then the other one is bouquet. So that's prompt six and seven. So I decided to do balance for the symmetry used one of those um, back in the day kind of label makers and this is um, some really fun jumbo stickers I got at the Dollar Tree so I did that for symmetry and then for a bouquet I just put some flowers there now for wallpaper on the next prompt prompt 8 I didn't have wallpaper but I thought I took this W letter sticker and I thought it looked enough like wallpaper. <laughs> Went with that. And that, again, is prompt eight. Now prompt, yeah, I think I'm right with that. Yes. And prompt nine is clashing patterns. Now this one was a lot of fun because you could just really go to town again with scraps. So I made the scrappy tag from some of the same scraps that I use for those clusters. And then I found this cute flash card and I made a pocket out of a seed packet and just really went to town on there with some paint kind of grunged it up that sticker came from one of the pansy sticker from one of the antiquarian sticker books on the left hand side for time out I really like this I decided I'm not gonna do much at all I'm gonna take that prompt directly as a timeout. So I took an organza bag and I wrote a little note and folded it and put in some quotes and some things like just inspirational things to think about. <laughs> so I thought that would work for timeout. On the right hand side, I don't know if you can see my fussy cutting because then I went over it with a lot of stuff, but I did fussy cut those flowers and then went over it with a few layers of just some acrylic paint, some washi tape, a little bit of writing. 
Yeah, and that brings us to the this page, which is prompt 12. I'm loving it. I'm just loving doing something different, enjoying working in the junk journal. And then the last little bit of catch up, I have not really worked on camera in this creative journal. So I definitely, I think in the next couple of videos or two, I want to catch you up on that. I have been working. This is a creative journal. I do a couple weekly spreads in. I love that heart sticker, by the way. That's from Love Lynn's Life. I bought that at our Etsy shop. And I'm still working in my junk journal. So I hope, guys, I will have a little bit more coming up on those soon. And I think at this point, I'm going to call it a video. <laughs> so happy Junk Journal July to you. Thank you to all subscribers. I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for watching.